welcome to IC Nanometer Design. Today I'll demonstrate how to convert a hierarchical def power grid to an OASIS for visualization using Calibre's left def interface. A def database includes nets with power and ground tags like the ones I'm showing you here. Converting the routing shapes with the power and ground tags to different OASIS layers allows the SOC integrator to visualize the power structure in design rev. To convert the left def data, I'm running the Caliber FDI to OASIS command line utility using this script. Here I'm listing all the def files and the left technology files and the left macros. After I run this script and generate the OASIS output, I'll open it in design rev for visualization. This output represents the default object mapping that we have with FDI2 OASIS utility. You can see in the layer palette, uh, you have a layer and data type associated with a left layer name and an object type. For example, uh, m1.spnet, special net. This OASIS was generated with the default mapping that I'm showing you here in this FDI.map file. Um, if I search for M1, you can see that the special nets are mapped to uh, layer 4 data type 2. With the default mapping in Design Rev, I can display only the special net layers. That's pretty easy, but it doesn't split the routing by power and ground subtypes um, like we want to do. To do that, we need to create a custom map file for the FDI to OASIS utility. So rather than write a new map file by hand, I chose to create a simple tickle script that can generate the map file for me. At the top, I've listed the left technology layers and objects that I want to operate on. Uh, the script then iterates through these and creates a map for the secondary keywords, uh, power and ground. After I run the script, you can see the map file it created uh, maps the layers and objects uh, with the power and ground keyword to a unique layer. Now to use this map file, I just need to update the run script I had and add the dash map and new map. So now when I rerun the FDI to Oasis utility, I'll generate routing with only the mapping statements I had in that file. You can notice in the design rev layer palette, the layer numbers and the object types have changed. Now each layer uh, name and object has a power or a ground keyword. With this mapping, I can select only the power or only the ground layers and display those in, in the layout window. Now I can choose any of the sub depths or the top level depth and inspect the power grid and layers that I want. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Let us know what other videos you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.